It's the Gibson J45 Historic Collection, one of the finest guitars I've had through the shop in quite some time. So what was wrong with this guitar? The lacquer has little spots in it where it's opened up and um, the guitar had a huge crack running from here to here. Also had a big old crack right on the back, about from here to here, and it was straight down through the wood. Um, my first mistake was that I pumped a wood glue into the cracks, hoping that it would uh, hold. What I actually should have done is used hot hide glue, because that's what I ended up doing in the, on the second attempt. Um, I put two cleats on the inside, which wasn't enough, after I did my polishing and stuff it opened up again down here that's when I it actually the back side opened back up and the top side right around here opened back up so I ended up going in a second time using hot hide glue and putting two more cleats one on the back one on the, this end of the crack I don't know if you can see that crack so I, I went ahead and I sprayed like eight more coats of nitro on it just on this area had it all masked off and I had to wet sand and polish the whole thing and buff it out and it was a lot of work. The other problem with this guitar was that it had a uh, up bow in the neck which made the action ridiculous. Um, I went into the truss rod and found out that the uh, the crescent moon washer, if that's what they call it, uh, ha is deformed. It has like a big dent in it from the truss rod being over tightened and it wasn't functioning so I slipped a little plain old round washer that I kind of uh, ground off uh, one side of the, um, the radius and uh, stuck it over top in between the nut, the acorn nut and the crescent washer. And that did the trick. I was able to straighten this neck out and get a nice low playing action. <laughs> ready and hopefully one of these days I'll get another one like this in. I didn't know a lot about this model but from what I can tell is it's made in an old school way with bone saddle, bone nut, it has an old school single ply truss rod cover. The internal braces are a little taller than the modern ones and they're fatter, they haven't been shaved down as much. Got the reverse belly bridge and a wooden um, bridge pins. These are rosewood they're not plastic or uh, ebony. And um, other than that, it's just got a real nice finish on it, real super dark. It's got the uh, historic collection sticker right here. And it's made in the USA, made in uh, Bozeman, Montana. So I'd like to get me one of these one of these days. Super good guitar, despite all the little finish problems. It still has one right here you can see it that's what I was talking about There's little spots like that all around the binding all over the guitar I think it was letting uh, moisture seep in and it caused a couple cracks so hopefully these cracks won't open back up but you never know cheers <laughs> <laughs>